Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a uh, pretty sweet car in here. So a while back, um, last year sometime, I don't remember exactly when, but um, did a brake kit on this one. So this, this one is a, uh, a bullet Mustang and it, it does come with the Brembo's on the front and I uh, wanted some drilled and slotted rotors so I went with uh, we went with some drilled and slotted on the front and back with the pads and uh, it just man it makes it look really nice man even with the stock wheels you know so anyway the reason I'm doing a video today is uh, I was just gonna do a little walk around in this car and I'm gonna take it for a ride so this is a customer of mine real good friends um, and I was they bought a, a supercharger kit from beefcake racing uh, v3 si blackout kit you know the, they did some extras on it it's a pretty sweet setup gauges you know the whole deal well we were supposed to do the install for him but i was so busy i wasn't able to get him in you know and he wanted to have this car ready for springtime um so i wasn't i wasn't able to get him in in time so they had another shop do the install I'm not sure which shop did it. They did a great job. Um, I have, a, I kind of have a feeling I know which shop did it. Um, and they, he also ordered, let me lift up the hood here. Hold on a minute. So when he ordered the kit from uh, Beefcake Racing, great website, by the way, if you guys haven't uh, heard of him, He's um, been in business for a while now. I forget how many years. He's got a great, great setup, man. He, he's got a lot of parts, good prices. Um, you guys be sure to check him out. You know, I'm not really friends with him. I've met him once or twice. I know who he is. And you can get some good deals on his website. So be sure to check it out, beefcakeracing.com. Anyway, um, they did this whole complete kit they bought from him. Um, racing blow off valve uh, they got the the lun racing tune the whole deal so the shop that installed it you know obviously when they got it done they put it on the chassis dyno and they remotely tuned it through lun racing and um this thing is still got the uh, original um manifolds with the with the cats on it it does have a mid pipe and a cat back on it um, and it put down on 93 octane. I think it's a 10 pound kit It put down almost 800 to the wheels. He told me what it was. I think it was 780 something 790 something to the wheels uh, Pretty impressive, but you know, it is a gen 3 These things are badass So anyway, the reason he brought it in is he was here hearing the belt squeak only at in the mornings or only at startup I should say so as you know you know these things wrap around like a spaghetti man these um these kits with the belt configuration well what i found let me turn the camera around so what i found was this belt was sitting off to the inside of this pulley by one groove it was one groove showing right here and the whole belt was sitting right here and um but I looked everywhere else. I've, I took all of this off. I got down in there and I looked to make sure there was no other um, issues with the belt coming off of any other pulleys. All the pulleys look good. Uh, I went through and I double checked every bolt to make sure none of the bolts loosened up on the brackets, on the pulleys. You know, I had to, I had to take this off. I had to take all this off so I could get down in there because the tensioner... The factory tensioner is down here and I was able to get the belt popped back on the pulley and I checked I don't see any issues I mean everything looks looks fine now these kits come with different spacers you know um, and sometimes depending on the configuration you have to use different spacers but as far as I can tell everything is lined up perfectly with the factory pulleys so i'm not sure why that would happen 
I'm pretty sure that they it didn't leave their shop that way because this thing's been on the road for a while now. I mean, you know, we're in uh, May. So if that thing was like that from the beginning, that belt would be chewed up, I would say. So it must have just, you know, popped off maybe from uh, accelerating hard, backing off, you know, hitting the gears. The, the pulley might have, you know, jumped just a little bit or not the pulley, but the tensioner and it might have boop, popped the belt off. Anyway, I'm going to take it for a ride. You know, I'm going to I'm going to kind of get on it a little bit and then bring it back and I'm going to check it and see if it does it again. You know, the the belt's in good shape too. So, not really sure why that would uh why that would happen. I've never had it happen before. So, my guess is it it probably tried to, you know, sling the belt as you would say. The tensioner just kind of, you know, the tensioner's going to bounce a little bit, you know, and possibly on a gear shift a hard gear shift it it might have bounced just enough to flip the belt up or whatever so but you know we'll we'll check it out and see hopefully there's no other issues with it but i want to give you guys a little walk around on this thing and we'll crank it up it's got the heritage gears so it's you know they're they're pretty loud and um check out the inside of this thing here you know it's super nice Look at the uh, the seat belts. They've got the bullet um, shoulder pads on there. That's pretty cool. The other one's over there. But uh, yeah, the bullets kind of got some unique stuff about it. You know, it says it right there. It's got the little stainless steel dash. And here's the gauges. Um, I, th I guess they put these gauges in. I don't remember seeing these before, especially the boost gauge. You know, it's got a boost gauge right there. It's got oil pressure right there. That's really cool. So uh, let me crank this thing up. start so it's idling up a little high hell you can hear them heritage gears all the way back here over the exhaust singing good ain't they you look at the belt I was kind of looking to see if the belt had a wobble on it you know sometimes some belts can be bad they can be uh they can get a little wobble to them and sometimes that'll cause this issue but we'll see take it for a ride here in a minute Yeah, I want to take this uh, filter off and clean it, let it dry, and then re-oil it, and then I want to turn it. I don't like it when these are showing. I usually hide that. I'll put that up underneath so you don't see it. That's just me, though. I think it makes it look cleaner. That's just like all these clamps. These don't look bad. I like to hide these up underneath so you don't see them. I just think it's a cleaner look. Like see here, I got these down as far as I can get them so I can still tighten them up. But he's eventually going to do some T-bolt clamps. T-bolt clamps look so much better than the worm clamps on these kits. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut the hood. We're going to take it for a ride. All right. I'm in the car. I had to shut the shop up. Yep, boost gauge, oil pressure. Them are kind of cool. I like those. You, 
you can hear the blow off valve it's got a racing blow off valve yeah I love these gauges and these s550s brakes are touchy holy sh man are they touchy oh gotta get used to them V3SI Vortec. These a um, little bit smaller head unit than the like a 2200 Paxton, but they still can make some really decent power. Really smooth, pulls really smooth. I mean, drivability on this thing is just like stock. It's, it really is. It's just like a pretty much a stock car. Um, until you get on it, you know oh, Got the rev match turned on as soon as I put it in gear <laughs> You can hear it Boy, this thing pulls good Woo. I mean this thing still got stock Cadillac converters on it. That just goes to show you you don't need to have off-road H pipes or off-road exhaust to make a car run. This thing flat out pulls hard. Let me tell you. Like you say, this thing 93 octane, it made almost 800 to the wheels. You know, and it's uh I didn't even look at the boost gauge. I was just concentrating on driving. That was just second gear. I'm not good at really. Yeah, he's got the rev match on. That's cool. <laughs> pops it in gear and it just but yeah this thing gets up and goes man like crap these little v3s i call them little they're not little but they they make boost quicker they really do um that that right there was was already at like eight pounds and it wasn't even up in the rpms yet so the, this thing the newer ones here you know i think this is a 2019 i believe 18 19 i think it's a 19 might even be a 20 i have to look but mt82 transmission um but they changed the gear ratios you know in the newer ones they um six speed manual the one to one your final gear on this one is actually fourth gear which is the way i like it you know that's the way most transmissions are um, the old MT82s, like in my car, your final gear in it is fifth gear one to one. So a lot of guys would gear the rear end to try to run through the quarter in fourth gear. That's the way I got mine. They'll run 331s, you know, with some power and they will run through in fourth gear. That way you don't have to go into fifth. I've got 327s in mine, you know, so I can run through in fourth gear. Um, I use my fifth gear as an overdrive. I've never used sixth gear. With this one, fourth gear is one to one, so the gear ratios are really stepped like they really should be. Um, I'm not sure what gear is in this one. If it's 373s, I think it is 373s. Uh, that's one reason why it pulls really good. 
so um, but uh, yeah this thing I mean this thing is nice man she's you know I don't personally own an S550 I've worked on them and stuff and I they really are comfortable man like my car is pretty comfortable but it's not set up it's more set up for the track for drag racing so but the S197s are just not as comfortable driving as these new S550s and that's why a lot of people you know they just get they get rid of their one S197s and get S550s I like my 197 I mean I like the the it, it kind of looks like the 1969 and 70 Mustangs which are my favorite you know so that's kind of why we got the one we got we've had that car we bought it back in 2012 early 2013 you know so shit it's already kind of old don't really don't really we don't realize it but it is um, mine only has 20,000 miles on it so we you know I don't drive it much it's the thing's still brand new but but yeah this is nice I would love to have an s550 um, really comfortable but you know just that little bit of getting on it if we have a belt issue it should tell the story you know it should pop off I didn't jam the gears you know speed shifted or nothing like that as if I was racing that's probably when it happened is my guess but we'll see you know if it's if it's still on I'm just gonna let him know and that way he can keep an eye on it to uh, see if it happens again so anyway I'm back here at the shop I just want to do a little quick video just uh show you guys this car thing is really nice man I, I, I really like this thing well I went ahead and pulled it around back there's just too many cars parked around front I don't want to take a chance on getting this thing a door ding you know um, I've got a car that's actually in one of the spots right there in front of my uh, of the office and it's really a good spot and he's coming to pick it up now so once he gets it picked up then i'll pull this and put it in his spot so that way uh, nobody accidentally pulls up and gets any door dings you know so i pulled around back and uh, checked the belt man and the belt's still on you know granted i didn't go out and run the dog crap out of it but hey if it was an issue with this belt not line it up just with that pull you know i pulled it up to like i don't know 72 7300 a couple times it would have came off like I say, I think it's probably on a, on a gear shift, man. When you bang the gears at a high RPM like that, it might have did that. But I want to let him know. That way he can he can keep an eye on it because it's obviously visible to see. And then um, if it happens again, then we'll check something out. But I, I went through all the bolts, made sure everything was tight, the, the bolt on the pulley and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get this air filter off and get it cleaned up and let it dry. It's nice and hot today. Let it dry and then get it oiled up and put it back on for him. And they'll be good to go so um this i know this is what what we got here uh yeah we're not really too too far into the video so it's not uh not a long video like my videos normally are so i just wanted to get uh some uh a video of this car and uh, show you guys this thing man it's just super nice so anyway i'm going to go ahead and end it here man i appreciate you guys checking this out and uh, I've got some more videos coming out. I've just been super busy at the shop and um, I haven't had time to really get it, get the videos out. I've got two videos already edited, ready to go out on the Savage Productions page. Uh, I wanna go in here now and actually start uploading one of them. And then uh, this one's gonna go on this channel, obviously, Savage Performance Garage page. So anyway, I do appreciate it. Uh, look out for some more videos. And we'll catch you on the next one.